Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Mr. 3D. In this video, we are gonna take a look at an awesome add-on for Blender known as Transportation, which is made available by the folks at B Production. They are also the creators of these awesome add-ons. If you wanna check them out, all the links are going to be in the description. Let's take a look at what Transportation offers. It contains more than 78 HD models of vehicles of all kinds and they're continuously adding more. 65 professional HDRIs optimized for Blender are also included in this pack and more than 300 backplates are available to embed your car in an image and get a photorealistic rendering in seconds and it's compatible with EV and cycles. So if you would like to get this add-on, you can simply go over to the link which is going to be in the description. From there you can grab it. We are gonna dive into Blender and take a look at how it actually works. With Blender simply open here, what you have to do is you have to go over to edit, preferences and install the add-on that you have purchased from Blender Market. Once you install it, press N on your keyboard and you will see that we have a new panel popped up right here. Click on it and here we have our transportation add-on. By the way, the theme I'm using here, it's one of the theme from my True Dark Themes Pack. If you are also interested in this, I will leave the link of my True Dark Themes Pack in the description as well. We have two sub panels of transportation add on. So, the first one is car models. You can select a bunch of cars from these different categories. So, you want bicycles, you have bicycles here. Maybe you want some planes, yes, you have them here. Maybe some transportation, you have it here. Or you want to go with some sports car, you have them here. So all of these are high quality models of cars that you can use to create your realistic scenes. So for this video, I'm gonna go with SUV and uh, Volkswagen. So select it and before we do anything, let's just simply delete the default cube and a light. And now here we have two options. So the first one is HD version and low poly version. The low poly version is much lighter and also rigged. You can use the low poly version for vehicles in the background or scenes with lots of vehicles to improve performance. So for this video, I'm gonna go with the HD version and you have a second option which you can set to cursor. It will import the car to the point where the cursor is. So I would like to go with center. This is the center of the viewport and it will import the car right here. Let's just simply click on add vehicle. You can see that we have our vehicle right here. So let's just add an HDRI. If we scroll down a bit and expand this menu and you will see that we have interior HDRIs and exterior HDRIs. You can choose from both of these and get what suits your project. So for me, I'm gonna go with this one, add HDRI. And if we go into rendered mode, we have very nice HDRI. Now the windows are not transparent. So to make them transparent, what you have to do is go over to render settings under EV and then go over to screen space refractions and turn on refraction. And that's how to fix it. You can already see the quality of the vehicle. You can also go inside the car and have a look at the inside as well. And this is much high quality. So let's go out of it. We have another option right here. You can see that you can also change your car color. So here we have metallic, matte, shiny, whichever you want, you can select it from here and choose different sets of colors. Then you also have the option to add custom car paint color. You can also select metallic, matte and shiny and the color you want your car to be. So for this, I'm going to go with light green and there you have it. We also have some HDRI adjustments so you can increase the power of the HDRI to make it brighter. You can increase the saturation as well. You can rotate your HDRI if you want to, you know, get the lighting you're looking for, the view you are looking for, or you can increase the height, so on and so forth. Now, right here, you have some backplates. So the HDRI you have selected, it will also show the backplates of that specific HDRI. So if you change the HDRI, let's say maybe this one and then click on add. You can see that the backplates are also here of that HDRI. I'm gonna show you how these backplates work. Let's just go over to camera view by pressing number zero, then select your camera and go over to view, click on camera to view. Now, if you move around here, you will stay in the camera and camera will move wherever you move. So this is what we need. And then go ahead and enable backplates right here. Enable it and then select the backplates you want. I want to go with this one. Click on add in background and then you can rotate your car. Move it at a point where you want it to be. Maybe right here. It looks a bit fake. There is no sun shadow falling on the ground. So if you go over to cycles and then select your vehicle and click on add transparent shadows. And there you have it. It looks realistic. 
So that's how you can use the back plates to insert your car into an image and make it look realistic. We can also just uncheck this to go out of camera view but you won't be able to see this because it only works in camera view. That's about it. Now let's take a look at how you can animate the car. So for that I'm gonna open up a new scene and I will see you there. Okay guys, so here I have a very basic road setup and this is created with the help of City Road Builder add-on. You can find the link to this add-on in the description. You have lots of customizable parameters in this as well. So link to it is going to be in the description and yeah. Let's just hide this for a moment and take a look at the car rig. So if I go into solid viewport mode and we cannot select anything and that's because we have to go over to the transportation add-on panel and then click on make editable for animation. Once you click on it, you can see that we have made it editable for animation. Now we can select the rig and go into pose mode from here or you can hold tab and drag down and go over to the pose mode. So if we select the arrow thing which is the base of the car and then press G and Y and you can see that it's you know going forward. One of the coolest thing about this add-on is the tires are also rotating with it. And actually transportation car rigs are powered by a free add-on which is known as rig a car. It's totally free. You can find the link in the description or you can go to dgcreators.net and download it from there. We are also going to use rig a car add-on. So right here you can see that we have some suspension controllers and you have some tire rotational controllers as well. You also have the accelerate and deaccelerate controller and this is pretty awesome to see that. And we also have the ability to make our car drip and you can see that and the tires are also behaving very nicely. You also have steering controller as well and then the ground protection controller as well. So you can use these things to create what you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enable my road setup. And here you can see that I created some bumps here to show you how the car rig reacts to these bumps. So let's just go into rendered mode. Go over to transportation add-on panel and click on snap vehicle to ground. It's gonna snap the vehicle right above the road so the next thing we are gonna do is move it around right here, perfect. And then once you have downloaded and installed Riga car add-on, which is also in the side panel, and just uh, click on ground sensors panel and you have bunch of options to play with. For this, we have to select the car rig and then go over to the eyedroppers and just choose the road to which you want your car to react with. For me, it's uh, the road as you can see here go ahead and select on all of these sensors once you've done this you can go over to pause mode and just move your vehicle around like this and it will follow every obstacle or every bump in the road and react to it let me just go into solid viewport shading and it's amazing to see that the add-on is doing all the stuff that you have to manually do and spend a lot of your time doing that so let's just create a simple animation so let's go to frame 0 and then select the main controller of the rig press i and click on location and it's gonna add a keyframe and then go over to the point where you want your car to be so for me it's going to be right here perfect press i and now click on available and i'm also going to do the same with the camera It's pretty fast so let's just slow it down a bit and here we have time stretching and the new one will be right here. I'm doing it the rough way but you can do what you want to do with this. And finally I want to show you something else. Select your car rig and then go over to pose mode and if you make it go backwards like that you can see that it reacts as it was falling from very high place and this is amazing it's cool to see that this add-on is capable of doing this awesome so you have lots of functionalities if you go over to riga car add-on panel again you can see that we have bunch of settings to play around with and you can play around with these to get what you want that's been it 
I do like to know what you guys think about transportation in the comment section below. And of course, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.